And I forgot to mention the newly designed logo. English just for you. John here. Welcome to the third edition of English Just For You. Um, this is the first uh, edition of the New Year, so Happy New Year to you all. Uh, today we're going to focus on the past simple tense with uh, the regular and uh, the be verbs. So I invite you to take a look at it and tell me what you think. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Bye. We use the past simple to talk about actions, situations and events at a specific time or in a specific period in the past. We also use it in the narrative, for example, to describe a scene, uh, for example, uh, when one action uh, comes quickly in succession to another. So, the past simple in with regular verbs is formed with ED, with the ending ED, for most verbs, uh, with a D when the verb ends with E, and with IED when there is a consonant with Y. In this case, we eliminate the Y and add on the IED. The double consonant is added if uh, the last three letters are consonants, vowels, and consonants, for example, stop. So we have S T O double P E D stopped. To form the questions in negative, we use did and the infinitive of the verb. So, for example, uh, I waited in the negative. I didn't wait in the question. Did you wait? Or why did you wait? Uh, and in the short answer, did you wait? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. So that's the past simple of the regular verbs. Don't forget you can try some of the exercises you can see on the page and if you have any questions just let me know. Thank you. Bye. We use the past simple to the past simple to be. The past simple form of the verb to be are was and were. So in the statements it's I, he, she, it was or wasn't in the negative. You, we, they, were, or weren't in the negative. For example, we can use it with an adjective. For example, he was happy, she wasn't sad, or with a noun. Uh, you were a teacher, they weren't actors. In the question, we use the inverted form. Was I, he, she, it, were you, we, they. In the short answer... Were you happy? Then you answer, yes I was, or no, I wasn't. Were they in Africa? Yes they were, or no, they weren't. So that's the past simple of the verb to be. Um, so take a look at the exercise, and if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you. Goodbye. The past simple to be. Now for something completely different. This is a fantastic example of multitasking. Uh, the coffee is being made and uh, my friend here is shredding paper. Now this is what we call efficient work. There. He's saving time. And he's also got the pleasure of drinking a cup of yeah, coffee don't afterwards. To subscribe.